Stop sleeping on your business. Don't give up on your business. If you know that this is what you want to do, if you see a life for yourself, y'all, I'm telling you, do not give up. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know who it is, or you should know who it is, the CEO of I Taste, and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, I am a cosmetic wholesaler. I help people start lash businesses, lip gloss businesses, anything cosmetic related. I have private label. I also have vending machines. So if you're interested in getting into any of those businesses, my website link is in the description box. Definitely be sure to check it out. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about how my business changed my life, okay? Your business business has the power to change your life stop sleeping on your business don't give up on your business if you know that this is what you want to do if you see a life for yourself y'all I'm telling you do not give up I am the proof four years ago my business literally hit four years last week last Monday a week from today oh my god yeah I'm not gonna cry in this video I cried in the last one but I'm not gonna cry in this one we gonna try not to cry but my business hit four years and if I look at back at my life five years ago, y'all, five years ago, I was working three jobs. I was in school. I was working at JCPenney's. I was working um, doing hair. I was working at the hospital. And I was also in school full time. Failed classes, trying to graduate. Just, just a hot mess, just trying to make it out here. Literally just trying to make it out here. I always wanted to be a homeowner. I wanted to go from my parents' house to my own house. I did that. I wanted my Challenger. I purchased my Challenger. No car note, cash. I wanted my business Sprinter Benz. Like, y'all, <laughs> your business, believe me, y'all, I am the proof. And I am not somebody who, you know, was the popular girl in school. I am not somebody who had any type of following. I know a lot of people may be new here. And y'all have not been here since 2019. Y'all have not been here since 2020. But this stuff did not happen overnight for me. Even though it's been four years now, it did not happen overnight. So I know a lot of people, they'll see, oh, she has all these vending machines. She has a pink Sprinter van. She has a pink car. She has a house. She has this. She has that. This stuff did not happen overnight. A lot of people also like to make assumptions like, oh, somebody must have put you on. Nobody put me on. Okay. I started this from the ground up, okay? I started my business with no type of following. My personal Instagram did not even have 500 followers. When I made my business page, it didn't even have 100 followers. Do you hear me? Okay, so I didn't even have 1,000 followers on neither my business or my personal page when I started my business. So if you are like me, that should not stop you. Please do not sit here and try. I feel like a lot of times people try to find excuses for why you're not where you're supposed to be. You can't come at me with the excuses because again, I'm not no celebrity. I'm, I was not no influencer when I started my business. I literally was a regular girl who wanted to start a business and pursued business and just, just kept going. Okay, you have to keep going. If you want your business to change your life, anything that you want, that new car, if you want a house, luxury apartment, I'm telling you, you can get it and your business will help you get there faster. But I do, I'm not doing this video to force anybody to start a business and, um, you know, basically let you know all the things that you can buy. That's not what the purpose of this video is. The purpose of this video is for me to just inspire and speak on my personal experiences and my testimony of how my business changed my life. Like, of course, eventually I would have been doing everything that I wanted to do because even when it comes to me purchasing my house, I already, um, was saving for my down payment. I already was in the home buying process from before I even started my business. My business just helped me get there faster. And my business allowed me to put a much higher down payment on my house to where my mortgage is not that much every month because I put down such a high payment due to my business. So my, my mortgage is not that high. So please do not, you know, this video is not if you're watching this and you're not an entrepreneur to be like, oh my God, I seen this girl's video. She has five vending machines. She has a Benz. Um, she, she has a house and I want that to be me. No, that's not the point of this video. This video is for the people that are entrepreneurs or if you are pursuing entrepreneurship to let you know that your business does have the power to change your life and do not give up on your business. I remember days, y'all, when I would get no sales no orders and I would just have doubts like is this is this for me like is this for me I'm telling y'all keep going like there's so many ways out here that you can promote your business there's so many ways that you can make money stop sleeping on it okay I literally have all the resources that you need okay 
I have phone calls. If you ever want to speak to me directly one-on-one, -on -one, you can always book a phone call with me. I can help you. But of course, you have to value my time. You emailing me your life story and um, not wanting to pay for my phone call is not you valuing my time. I am a very busy person, you guys. In addition to running my business, I also just started a new business venture. I also do group mentoring in my Patreon that is currently closed. And I also am doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring with three people so I have so much going on not even including my personal life so if you do want to speak with me directly I do have phone calls available I also have ebooks I have a starting a business ebook of becoming a wholesaler I have so many ebooks on my website even when it comes to vending machines I have a whole series you can purchase to learn about vending machines everything that you need to know and you can ask me any questions on there my personal vendors on there so many people are like oh my god I want to get a vending machine I want to get a vending machine the, if you want it, you just buy it. Like People think I'm being sarcastic. If you want to get a vending machine, you just find a vendor and you buy it. It's really that simple. <laughs> it's really that simple. But back to the point of this video, your business can change your life. Stop sleeping on your business, y'all. Even when it comes to the vending machines, I purchased my very first vending machine back in 2021. I didn't put it in a location until this year, 2023. I have four mall locations. Fifth one loading. Okay. My vending machines are working for me. I have a vending machine in Delaware that is doing amazing. Okay, that vending machine is doing amazing. Two in Jersey and one in Texas. I could travel and be anywhere and my vending machines are still going to make me money. Okay, your business has the power to change. Like there are so many. And even um, if you're like in entrepreneurship, y'all, there are so many different things that you can tap into in addition to your business, that you can make passive income. So I really want y'all to stop sleeping on all the ways. Don't just think that, oh, me selling lashes is gonna, you can achieve anything you wanna achieve by tapping into other things. And when I say to get multiple streams of income, y'all, I'm not saying, oh, start a hair business, start a lash business. No, you can create multiple streams of income from the same income that you have already. Being a wholesaler, you guys, being a cosmetic vendor has literally changed my life, not just because of the money, but because I'm helping people. I am helping people make money too, okay? I'm not just selling, so I'm, I'm helping people make money too. Whether it's makeup artists, whether it's a single mom, a stay-at-home mom, I'm helping people start businesses. They will purchase their lashes from me in bulk, and in turn, they're going to resell it and make money. So I love what I do. My business is not just about making money because I have other ways to make money. And honestly, at the point I'm at now with all these other streams of incomes and collabs I have going on, if I was to say shut down my business, I have a whole bunch of other things going on, okay? We, we have a whole bunch of other things going on. So if I was to say shut down iTasty and focus on my mentoring and focus on my Patreon and focus on my collabs and focus on my YouTube channel, I will still be okay financially. So my business is not about the money. I love the fact that I'm able to help people start businesses and make money even when it comes to me mentoring. Going to school to be, I, my goal was to be a teacher. That was my career choice. So being able to mentor people, being able to help people, being able to give people tips, seeing them follow the tips, seeing the growth of their business. Y'all, I was just telling the ladies in my Patreon yesterday, this girl booked my one week boot camp, right? She didn't even have 10,000 followers. I'm not going to show her page now, but I showed it in the Patreon. This girl didn't even have 10,000 followers. Booked my one week mentor boot camp that I dropped two months ago. It was in the beginning of June. And if she sees this video, she can comment. Y'all, she's almost at 16,000 followers. I gave her tips. She applied it. And I'm seeing like, it's so, um, I promise y'all, it's so amazing, amazing to watch and see how when people apply what you tell them. Because there's going to be people just like with this YouTube channel. I give y'all free tips. Some people apply, some people don't. But Again, your business has the power to change your life. You have to put in the work. You have to want it that bad. You have to invest in yourself, invest in your business. This is something else that I was saying yesterday on my Patreon that I'm just going to tell y'all a little bit about is the fact that you have to invest in models. You have to invest in sending your products out to people in exchange for pictures and videos. Of course, some people may scam you. You may not get what you want, but that's a risk we just have to take as business owners. And 
You can't expect your business to change your life. You can't expect your business to grow and succeed and get all these customers and orders and, you know, be worldwide. And you're not investing in your business. You're not putting in the work. You're not investing in a ring light, a tripod. You're not investing in these things. Throughout these four years of my business, I definitely invested. Even when it comes to me learning things, if there's something that I'm going to learn information about, I'm going to invest. And I feel like a lot of people these days, they just want handouts and they don't want to invest. You cannot complain. You're going to be stuck at the same place. Like, I'm not even trying to be rude when I say this, but if you don't want to invest in yourself and invest in your business and invest in something that's going to make you money, you're going to be stuck in the same place forever. And you can't complain to nobody but yourself, okay? Even when I used to work my job, it would be people that they've worked there for years, you have the opportunity to apply and move up. You have the opportunity, but you're not doing it, but you still want to complain. You're not going to get nowhere in life just complaining. Okay, you can't say you want to start a business, but you're not ordering the inventory. You're not posting. You can't complain about not getting sales, but you're, you know, you're not doing anything. Instead, you're watching other people make money when you could be making money too. And one thing that I can say that I've always invested in myself and invested in my business. If I was interested in something, I'm going to pay. I wanted to get into the Airbnb business and somebody that I know was in the Airbnb business and they did a promotion and they were charging $150 for phone calls. And guess what? I paid. I paid $150 to listen to and get information about Airbnbs. And you know what? You got you all. I'm glad that I paid that $150 because me paying that $150 saved me from losing hundreds or thousands of dollars because that made me not want to do Airbnb. Me taking that phone call and paying that $150, I learned so much about Airbnb that made me realize that I was no longer interested in Airbnb. And I'm the type of person, y'all, that I will jump into something, even when it comes to the vending machines. I didn't do my research. I didn't, you know, invest in anything. I just did it. Like, I never even watched any free videos. I just did it without researching and investing in things. So... Me paying that $150 made me realize this is not what I want to get into. And if I would not have paid, Black Friday was literally approaching. I was about to buy all of this stuff from my Airbnb. I was about to start purchasing like bedware, towels, house stuff, all for this Airbnb that now I'm not even going to get into because of what I learned and what all comes with it. With everything that you want to do in life, stuff comes with it. Same with being an entrepreneur. We have to deal with so much stuff being an entrepreneur, dealing with chargebacks, fraudulent people, dealing with, um, it's just so much. Like right now, my package is being held by customs. I had to reorder everything that was in that package and I have no idea when I'm going to get the package. So with everything that you're doing, is things come with it, but I just want to let you guys know that your business has the power to change your life. Do not give up on your business. If you know that this is what you want to do in life, if you know that years from now you see yourself traveling, whatever you want to do, I'm telling you that you can do that. You just have to stay consistent, okay? Stay positive. Focus on yourself. Strategize what you're going to do to get you there. I have journals. Y'all know I'm a journal girl. And I want to say like the main thing that helped my business help me change my life is journaling, setting goals for myself. And, you know, just planning like this is what I'm going to do. And this is what I want. If I want my challenger, how am I going to get my challenger? You know, setting goals for yourself. And how are you going to accomplish those goals? So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on how my business changed my life. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave me a comment in the description box. If you are an entrepreneur, comment how your business may have changed your life. Comment your business experience so far. And if you're not an entrepreneur, are you looking to get into entrepreneurship? How do you feel about entrepreneurship? But leave me some feedback in the comment section so I know you watch this video all the way through or even comment pink hearts. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.